How you guys doing? I got it ready, 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 ready for you guys. I do. I have it ready for you guys, and I'm so excited over this. Cause I'm happy, 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 happy. One, two, three, four. Hi, Heretic. Hi, Kermit. How are you guys? How are you guys? I'm so good. So, okay, the first thing we're gonna work on is the ricotta cheese. We're gonna be making a lasagna tonight. A nice, wonderful, tasty, homemade lasagna. Is everyone like ready for that? Like I got this beautiful sauce. Let me show you my sauce. This has been stewing for hours. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. Let's just say it's amazing. So because it's amazing, we're gonna be, you know, making a lasagna, that's even better. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break two eggs into this glass dish right here. And basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna beat it up. I'm gonna use a fork. gonna beat it up until it's nice and beat and we're gonna add about two tablespoons of rosemary in this five cloves of garlic in this yeah I said that five cloves of garlic and this is going to be in our ricotta cheese that we have and then about three-fourths of a cup of wonderful fresh parsley and it will basically kind of taste like a spinach I guess you could say within the lasagna but we're just gonna mash that in to the eggs. The next thing is the beautiful ricotta cheese. I got part skim, which is good for me. Just stab it. Just stab it. Oh, I love me some ricotta cheese. You know what's in a cannoli? Ricotta cheese. And you just kind of want to just pat that down. We're just gonna mix this in. I think I wanna do, is that gonna be enough? I think it is. Oh yeah. That looks so good. So ricotta's in cannolis, by the way. And that's a sweet thing. I wanna actually do a cannoli dessert for you guys. That's really good. And I'll be doing that in the near future for you guys. So you just mix up the eggs with the garlic and the ricotta and the rosemary and the parsley and you get it to a nice creamy consistency. I actually want to add some salt in this. You kind of need a little bit of salt in here, a little bit of black pepper, you know, just so it has a little bit of a bite. You could also add, if you want to, red pepper flakes. Another thing you can do is instead of like the parsley, you could do spinach. Baby spinach is also a good thing. 
little garlic powder wouldn't hurt you in this. There we go. You see that? A nice creamy consistency. It looks amazing, doesn't it guys? Doesn't it? So beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna put that to the side. And um, we are actually going to start assembling the lasagna. Well, actually, no, I can't wait. I have to do one more prep thing. Let me put this over here. You stay over there. One more thing. I can't believe I forgot this. This is one of the biggest steps you want to do. I got some delicious Frigo fresh mozzarella to put in the lasagna. So we're gonna go and cut it into rounds so it can be easily placed on the lasagna. Yes, I make a cheesy lasagna. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Because to me, it's nothing better than a cheesy lasagna. It's my favorite thing about the lasagna is the cheese. Same thing with calzones, actually. The same thing I like with calzones is the cheese. Let me turn this over. There you go. So you can see me a little bit better. Hi. How are you? But you guys should know that I love cheese. I love cheese. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. And this is so beautiful. This is such a beautiful, fresh mozzarella. It's gonna make this lasagna so tasty and goodness and melty. We're gonna try this mozzarella. Mm. It is amazing. It is amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Let's assemblage this lasagna. Now, the first thing you want to do is take two scoops. Let me put this over here so you can see it. You want to take your two scoops of your sauce and put that in the bottom of your pan. Now this being in the bottom of your pan will be essentially to, you know, have the lasagna not stick and it also absorbs that beautiful yummy sauce that we made. Now I made these actually before the stream and I made them, I didn't cook them all the way, but I cooked them enough so they're like pliable so I could just put it in the pan and it'll just be really easy like so. You see what I mean? There's nothing more than I can do. It looks like four will fit in here. All right. And we want to put another two scoops of the sauce. Actually, a little bit more. I think about three. Three passes, maybe four passes of the sauce. Nope, three looks like it is perfect. Now folks, if we were proper, 
with our cheese, what cheese do you think we should put first? Mm. Let's put a little layer of Parmesan down first. We'll put a little layer of Parm down here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Would you get that nuttiness of the Parmesan? Oh yeah. Doesn't this already look delicious? I know it does. So, we're gonna take the mozzarella and we're just gonna place this in right here, right on top. Oh yeah. We're just gonna load this thing with the cheese. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause we love cheese. Yeah. -dum. We love cheese. Da -dum. We love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, we do. And now I'm gonna put it on another layer of the noodles and we're gonna press down so we know that it's like nice and solid down there. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh! That is heavenly, guys. All right. Now we'll do about another three to four scoops of the sauce. We're almost at the end of this, folks. We're almost at the end of this. Oh my God. Oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, it smells so good. Like I wish smell of vision was existence so you could like smell this goodness cause it's so. <sighs> the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plop all this ricotta down. Oh. All of it, all of it, I mean all of it. Get real scrapage action. We'll just spread this. Oh yeah, I know it looks overflowed. I really don't care. It can be overflowed in my opinion. This is a lasagna. It can be messy or clean, however you want it. Okay. Oh my God. Wanna try? Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> oh, I'll just, just wait. Lick the bowl, please. And then I'm gonna put some Parmesan. Yum. Wow. Or, yes, put Parmesan in. And then put a little thing of some mozzarella and provolone. Spread that around. Oh, oh, all right. Last layer, folks. This is a sad part, man. This is the last layer because it's like full. This is a full stuffed lasagna. But you know what? My kids ain't gonna complain. No. Nope. Neither am I. The husband ain't gonna complain. No. My viewers definitely ain't gonna complain. 
But my haters, they may complain. They always complain. They always complain, yeah. You're right. Oh, there we go. And then put more scoop of sauce on it. Spread that around. And husband, I'm gonna need your muscles. Okay, what do you need? To put this in. To put it in the, uh, so, yeah, uh, oven. Okay. The oven, yes. Done deal. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is so overflowing. Amazing. <laughs> I should have known I should have gotten a bigger pan. A thicker pan, babe. Oh, I can't believe this, it's so yummy. Oh. Okay. Now, it's very thick. I know, I know. We're, we're not going to have a problem with this oh my God. at all. You know why? It's going to be tin foiled over. So, wow. the next thing is the rest of the cheese. We got to put that on. So, we're going to put this on, this little part. We're going to put the rest of the Parmesan on. Because why not? And then we're going to take the rest, another bag of this mozzarella and provolone, and put that on. Don't judge me. Like I said, the best thing about a lasagna Ugh. is the cheese. Yes. talking about it looks like a great lasagna to me man oh my god this looks so good Daddy does it <laughs> oh yeah guys this is an amazing lasagna all right so the next thing we must do obviously is the tin foil wherever it has gone There's the press and seal. That's parchment. Tin foil, where did you go? I had the tin foil earlier today. Where did it go? I don't know. That is so bizarre, babe. Uh, yeah. It like disappeared. For real. It Hold did. on. It's not in here. It should be around here. Where the fuck? Will? Do you know where the tin foil went, dear? Yes, I'm looking all over for it. It's right behind you. <laughs> Hello, Shannon. I wasn't even, I'm sorry, Will. I wasn't even looking up. <sighs> All right, so we want to put this in for about 30 minutes. We want to tin foil it, but we want to put it in for 30 minutes. Try to keep it like domed so it doesn't, you know, go over the cheese, by the way. Keep it domed. And then at the last 10 minutes, you want to put it under directly underneath the broiler so it gets all melty. Oh, this is going to be an amazing lasagna. Have you seen it? Babe, huh? have you seen the lasagna? No. Oh, oh, yeah, I did. I'm yeah, because I was in the yeah. Okay, honey. I, it looks like massive, but that's the way you do it, man. <laughs> that's how you make a lasagna. You make yeah, it massive. That's right. Since I have two hungry teenagers. That's all right. All right. That's all going to get eaten. Babe. Yes. I need your master skills. That's it. I 
Boom! <laughs> Macho Man shirt on. That's perfect, actually. Boom! Man's man. Like nothing. Right here or second? First or second? Uh, put it on the second. Second? Okay. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Done deal. Then we'll set the timer. Okay. I have you. For 30 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be incredible. There we go. And I shall clean this up. Amazing. I know, man. This is, oh, so good. It smells so good. Yeah. It is so good. Shouldn't be amazing. Huh? It's no, it's still going on. Okay. You're cool. Oh. It's, it's like the camera's totally off. Okay. You're cool. Go ahead. I just, we love you, dude. I hear you, dude. Totally. We love you. He's such a good kid, Ken. You know? He really is. He's such a good, amazing kid. God bless me, man, with you and those boys. You know that? No. Yeah. Uh, love you. I'm not with that. Okay, mm -hmm. Zach, go upstairs. Thank you. I'm still doing a show. You are not okay. bad, Zach. No, you're not. You're not. Thank you. Uh -oh. Thank you, sir. He's so cute. He's a boy. Sorry about that, guys. all cleaned so I'm just gonna put the rest of the pasta sauce in here um, and put it in the fridge because I on Monday have something very special for you guys now you see all the food that I've been cooking over the weekend for you guys well I was planning on showing you what to do with the leftovers we have. But that is an amazing sauce, by the way. Let me give you a close up to it. That is a beautiful, amazing sauce. And it tastes divine. down paper. I don't really get it that much. It says it works, but so I'm pressing down. There. waiting for the lasagna I figured we could talk guys since we're waiting for it to bake right now you could call it your messy lasagna yeah I could call it my oversized not going to fit in a pan lasagna that's okay it can go be messy it's gonna be delicious Talking is fun. Ain't it? Oh, yeah. Hi, cookie lady. How are you? The pasta is thick. 
it, oh yeah. I think it's gonna be a very, 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 very delicious pasta. All right, come here. I know you have a room. Thank you. So I'm just gonna be here. And I'm just gonna do the dishes while talking to you guys. See, I, I'm becoming like this new zen like YouTuber. Like doing everything for mankind. Let me see. Little baggy come here. You know, that's that's my plan. Is to just make everyone around me happy. No one's mad, no one suffers. Everyone's just happy. Oh, by the way, Christina Blackfeather, if you're seeing this, thank you for that um, video today. That was really sweet of you and thoughtful. Um, I really appreciated. Basically, in her video, she was talking about how a lot of people are just making fun of my cooking just to make fun of me and not because, you know, I'm doing anything wrong. And she's basically telling people maybe it's time to move on to other subjects because there's more important things to be subject to than Shannon and you're just bullying her at this time. You know, because it's obvious I'm being bullied by these people. It's just obvious, because they're relentless on everything, you know? Yeah, man, I'm at the time of my life where I'm over that stuff. You know, the reaction, the being shot by people. Like, I just want to do my own thing and, like, be happy with life. So that's what I'm going to do is just keep moving forward, see where life takes me, and um, do as much as I possibly can for others because that's the only thing I can do. I can't do anything else. Thank you. Ah, clean pasta dish. Like, serious guys, never wait to wash your pasta dish because it gets really sticky. Just wash it right away. Do yourself a, uh, you know, a favor and do it. Just wash your dishes. Like, like, Vaughn, clean up your shit.
Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Boom, boom, boom. Hi. I'm back, folks. Thank you, Cheryl. I've been doing great. Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you, guys. Listen, they're going to try to find anything they can to try to get me. And there's nothing I can do. They're, like, obsessed in trying to catch me or get me or get me in trouble or... When will I do a makeup tutorial video? I actually have one planned. Um, it's a cosplay video, actually, where I'll be doing um, Jessica Rabbit, which is awesome. Um, but I'm planning on doing some more. I'm just trying to figure some things out in my life. And, you know, when it happens, it'll happen. I know, I know. It's just I'm going through a lot right now. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. The motivation I had, like, I've been having lately is inspiring you. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells so good. I'm already smelling it. And it's just like, oh, do you smell it too, babe? Yeah. Oh looking good now I'm getting hungry I'm getting hungry too I've been hungry all day I've been wanting this I need it I got my Italian bread already which is amazing I have my carry gold butter waiting and waiting and waiting thank you so much Yes, we're going to do bread and we're going to do salad. I have... Where's my salad? There it is. I got a couple of these um, Fresh Express veggie lovers. And I'm just going to have that with like maybe balsamic or ranch. Whatever. Salad dressing you want, I guess. And be yummy. Thank you, BJ. I've been loving it, too. I've been having really fun doing it. Well, uh, Monday, I'm planning on doing a, a kind of a, a special, I guess, where I'll be cooking with leftovers and showing you how to transform leftovers. Like the risotto I made the other day. Um, I will be turning leftovers of the risotto into arancini which is italian rice balls and we're gonna we're gonna have it with the tomato sauce along with i'm going to be making uh fried dough which is basically pizza dough and you deep fry it in oil so i'm gonna be making that on monday along with some you know corn i want to have some corn on the cob along with that. And I'm thinking about something else. Stay tuned on that. It's a little surprise. I'm thinking of it. I'm making you excited to start cooking again. That's awesome. I'm, I'm excited. It's been a while since I got excited about cooking, guys. It's been, it's been a while, and I'm so excited over it. I'm really enjoying this part of my life. I really am. I'm just basically doing things that I want to do and that I love and not letting other people tell me what to do with it or how to act, you know, because it's like, why should you tell me how I should act? You know what I mean? Why should you tell me what I should do in my life? I got to do it myself. I got to figure it out myself. You know, I promise you, I'm not going to. 
do anything dangerous because I'm too old for that. Man. Your husband refuses to eat leftovers? That's why, that's because you have to make it new for him. Thank you, Laura's Kitchen. I'm going to look you up. You have a YouTube channel, Laura's Kitchen? I love watching people um, cook on YouTube so much. It's like watching Food Network again. Because Food Network is nothing but competition now. It, like, turned into MTV. And I like the, the good old days, you know, with the Rachel Rays and the Paula Deans. By the way, Paula Dean is on YouTube. Just be you, love. Seriously, you have to ignore the rest. I'm enjoying getting to know you. Think you're pretty wonderful from what I see, girl. Thank you, Cheryl. The food I make looks delicious. Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. I try. I try. And if I shoo my kids away, it's just because, you know, them. Not, not my kids. Them. I'm home cook, no fancy equipment, chip bowls and all. Dude, I love that. I love that. Food Network turned into MTV, ha <laughs> so true. It did, man. It's like, where's the cooking channels anymore? You know, you have the, the cook, like even the cooking, the cooking network or the cook, what is it? The cooking channel? Even that is like, oh, I want to learn how to cook. I don't care about competition. You know, granted, granted, you, you look at some of the competition ones. They're awesome, but it's like, I just want to like relax, not feel like I have to like go through a journey of like anxiety. Right, Cece? It's so much better. So much better. Love the cooking channel and the Food Network. Yeah, one of my favorite shows was called Bitchin' Kitchen. It was so good, man. She was such a rocking girl. Yeah, you don't watch it either. I just, it's just... The one I liked the most, I think, was probably like The Iron Chef. I love the Iron Chef, but see, it's not the American Iron Chef America. No, no, no. I go straight Japanese Iron Chef because there's no other great thing, you know. You, you you still got Morimoto, but but you got all all the other good ones like Sakai, and and I think Ito was another one. It just oh. Is anyone old school in the Iron Ship Japanese where you remember when they made that salmon ice cream and everyone was like, that is the best ever? I want to try that salmon ice cream. <sighs> Me too, Shani. That program was awesome. Yes. Yeah, see, we all know. We all know. I'm old school and everything. Yeah, I've fallen into that trap myself. <laughs> like, uh, like candy, for instance. It's so, like, I eat like an old person with candy. I love, like, the hard candies. You grew up watching Julia Child. I love Julia Child. Julia Child, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What is that? The, you're cooking a roux. Yes, yes, yes. Remember to put another pallet of butter in there. It just looks a little too dry. Yes, yes. Always remember. Use your hands when cooking the most. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Lily. I'm glad you can join us. I'm glad you can join us. I have things I do my way. It may not be correct, but it will work exactly. We got to do things our way. We can't let other people tell us what to do with our own things, man. 
Hey 420 time, how are you? Well, we got a naked manhole tomorrow. You're making steak, dude? Awesome. I'm making chicken and dumplings. That's right, chicken and dumplings, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, then you haven't watched the Unholy Trinity, then. Welcome to my show. Anyway. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to take this tin foil off. Am I American? Yes. Unfortunately, I am an American. I I uh, I don't know, is anyone proud of their country anymore? Or are we just like, ugh, I'm over it now with our government. Yes, it is a mystery science theater. 3000 t-shirt. I love that show too. Right now, um, Joel is taking donations so they can make another season for mystery science theater. So if you're interested in Go to MSTK3000 on YouTube and he could give you the proper links so you can like donate so we can get the show like to where it needs to go. By the way, little, little, little thing did you know about Mystery Science Theater 3000? It is Minnesota based. They are all from Minnesota. They all started, um, over broadcast TV, like, and just, like, I think their budget was, like, $10 a day. And they weaned it, man. And they did it. Crow's your boy? That's awesome, man. Your daughter is trying to talk you into making some chicken and dumplings, cookie lady? Do it. Do it. Do a makeup collab. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. Give the channel again. It's MSTK3000. It, you could just type it up. It's not that hard to find. They're always asking for donations. Oh, they already raised all the money for another season? That's awesome. See, that shows t true fandom. That really does. I actually, uh, me and Jason, one of our dates that we had, we actually went to a live screening of Riff Tracks. And it was so fun. We had so much fun on that date. Yeah, man. Didn't we? It was awesome. It was. <clears throat> what? What? I buy this? It says install. Did we buy that? I don't know. I'm gonna try and install it. Well, son of a biscuit. Well, it's it, acting like I own it. Is that on your? On yeah, your, it's my account. Ah. Uh, it's downloading it. Is there a way we could stream it on my channel so I can, like, my, get the, Yeah, yeah. you just have my computer, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. I'll just use my, um, controller, because... Okay, this is just weird, because I don't remember buying this. We may have bought it, like, a year ago and not remember. Oh, my God, maybe. Why is that in my library? You know. still have recordings of it? Six minutes, guys. It smells so good. I want to eat so bad. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so looking forward to this. This is going to be like the greatest food in the world. I've been cooking this sauce for hours, okay? Hours. Hours. As you saw when I did it. 
and I've been babying it. I've been loving it. I, I've just been enduring it. <laughs> okay, Cheryl, what's your favorite MSTK episode? Mine is The Touch of Satan. I very much enjoy that one because of Rousendows or, or whatever his name is. I hope it's going to be delish. No, our sauce definitely is good enough for Jesus to eat. Oh, you're taking Ozempic? I don't know if I would want to eat. I don't need it, really. Because I only eat one once a day, really. What palette is this? This is a Jawbreaker. With the yellows. You can't remember most of them. Hmm. My name is Epic. Just ordered Popeyes. <laughs> Popeyes chicken sandwich. Popeyes chicken sandwich. Ah, oh, I love my cooking shows. Is Rev going to do the one chip challenge again? No, I don't think so. Why would I do it again? I did it once <laughs> and I survived. <clears throat> Never again, man. Nope, I did it and I survived. I haven't seen any of Jeffrey's new stuff, actually, to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jason definitely was very brave doing that yeah, one chip rough. challenge. It's rough, man. Very brave. Oh, my God, I get to take the tinfoil off in two minutes. I'm so excited. Ah, oh, and I get to broil it. Ooh. And it gets all melty and stuff. It's going to be so good. I haven't bought makeup in years. Yeah, I haven't bought makeup in... God. In a few months, I haven't bought it. Is Revelina coming? No. Huh? Is Jason going to buy Resident, Resident Evil 8? Well, here's the thing. Apparently, a long time ago, we pre-bought bought it, didn't realize we did, and he's downloading it right now, so. That, that's weird. You're going to be Shani on her bed probably tonight or tomorrow being scared off her butt playing this game. Yeah, Lily Jean, I wouldn't mind. I'm confused. Sad face. Sorry, man. What? Baby? You okay? Oh. He said, I'm confused, and he went upstairs. I'm like, what? Yeah, I have the Jeffree Star nude lipstick collection. The one thing about those, like, little tubes of Jeffree is they dry out really fast. And that, like, is my biggest problem because I also have like the queen bitch lipstick palette too or a lipstick collection and like I, I swear half of the lipsticks are dried out and it's like so disappointing because it's like I barely use them at all like maybe a couple times and it's already like dried out yeah you notice that too that the minis dry out fast yeah they do man 
One day you'll buy a fancy eye palette. <laughs> No, they aren't cheap. Uh, you know, um, my friend Hannah Stout, she actually did uh, the collection of the Wet n' Wilds that they had out, and they were really nice. Like, she had the yellows, and they're like, it was really similar to what I have on my eyes right now. Oh, you have a makeup channel, Lily Jean? That's awesome. Yeah, your cover girl rose palette will work just fine. <gasps> Did you hear that? Oh, I'm so excited. I get to take the uh, tin foil off. Yay! Oh, my God, the smell. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. I can't handle it. Oh, Jason. Yeah. You got to look at this. Uh, okay. Inspection of, of goods. Okay, we just got to let the cheese brown. Oh, my God. Oh. oh God. I can't handle that. <laughs> it's like Vesuvius in my mouth. Oh, my God. Cheese pull. Cheese pull. Do you want me to take that? Or? You want to do it? Take it. I got another cheese pull. Oh my god. You guys want to see it? Oh. Let me show you. Yeah, this looks so. See? Wait. Wow. Look at that. Looks wait, so wait. good. Try to get a good angle for you guys. Here you go, you can watch that. There's just a little bit of a delay. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to get the good angle. There we go. There's a good angle for you guys. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, we're just gonna let that brown up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, wait. And um <laughs> Let me put that back. Oh. Where? Oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Where did it go, my lovely? All right. We're gonna take it off the bake and put it on the broil. Start. And we're gonna leave that on for 10 minutes until it's nice and brown oh. or shorter. Don't know. We're going to see. Mother of God, that is a mammoth. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> I know me. I already have a fork in it, right? Yeah. Oh, you do cosplays too, Lily Jean? That's awesome. I love cosplaying. It's fun. I especially like doing my Serafina. It's a goal. And I, I really need to... I can't wait to get my edit all done. Yes, I know, Heretic. We're going to let it rest. Um, and I'm going to cut the stream. And then Jason will oh, be yeah. doing his famous mukbangs. Of uh, my lasagna. Uh, I just booted it up, man. It's... I don't remember buying so that. So stay tuned tonight. We're gonna be wa we're gonna be like, thank you, Naughty Rudolph. Thank you. Tonight, I guess we could be playing some Resident Evil Eight and being scared off our who's it was it's. Amazing. You have to find Jason a fork. We have forks. Yeah, I know it's crazy. We have forks. Do it. Well, yeah. Yeah. I've done, I, 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 honey. Did you not see that I've done? Use the fork 
to scramble up those eggs. Well, I'm glad you can find them. Oh my god. I can't wait to eat this. Like, I'm really looking forward to eating this shit, man. Hi, Melinda. How are you? I don't want to fight, Mo bros. I don't want to fight. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. You're an angel. Thank you so much. You're doing good, Melinda? I am doing great. I am doing great. I had a great day cooking and just just loving on the family and just, I guess, being all domesticated. I really found, like, a love in that again. You know, I guess <coughs> I pulled my butt out of a, a bad, bad, bad depression. What is my skincare routine? Well... I use any type of cleanser that I have. I have a bunch of cleansers. But I basically just cleanse it every night. I also use the makeup wipes to get the makeup off. Then I moisturize it with some moisturizer. Wake up in the morning, wash my face again, moisturize it again. So basically wash and moisturize. <laughs> But like I said, I have a bunch of cleansers. I even have that um that It Cosmetics like Miracle Water. That's a really good like makeup remover. If you like have really tough makeup, like Jeffree Star, his pinks and oranges can st stain your eyelids. So the Miracle Water is actually really good at getting rid of that like I guess stain of like whatever pigment they use, but. You know, you usually have, like, leftover of it afterwards. But. All I did was my eyes and then just put a little highlighter on. Everything else is just plain skin. Oh. Hi, Megan. How are you? I saw you in emos the other day, by the way, and I want to thank you for that. Because he really needs a lot of friends because he's really, like, lonely. You baked your for your birthday cake for the first time? Which, what kind of cake was it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Jason, yeah. you have to see it. The browning is beginning. Oh my God. Oh. Happening? Oh, these people will wish they were us tonight. Oh my God, I'm sure that's the case. Yeah, I just want to eat. I like. I just want to eat too, man. Eat Can you book a phone call with me to say Happy Mother's Day? To, oh, can I book a phone call with you to say Happy Mother's Day to my mother? She loves you. Oh, cool. Slow mo, just hit me up at my email. Let me like put my email down for you, sweetheart, and then we could like discuss what you want to do and stuff. But yeah, I'm open to that. Here, this is my email. There 
it goes. You want to see it right now? All right. Let's see if I can angle this to the proper. Yeah. Look at that right now. It's getting all brown. You see the brownness oh. coming? Oh. It's amazing. Oh. 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 How could you not like like that? That oh, that looks so good. I agree. That looks so good. It makes me so happy. It looks so good. Thank you, Zach P. Thank you. We need to see the browning of the cheese. Oh. How did the cupcakes come out? Awesome. Awesome. They've been slowly devouring them little by little by little. And it's awesome. Oh my God, I'm gonna be taking this out in a minute or so. I'm so excited over this. I'm so excited over this. I'm, oh, I can't wait to eat it. We gotta let it sit for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, that's just how you do it with lasagna. You gotta let it sit for maybe 10, maybe 20 minutes even. But you gotta let it sit. So, now you're gonna get all kinds of Mother's Day's greetings, love. Dude, that would be awesome. I love that. Hi, biotech babe. How are you? How are you? They really can't grow up, can they? And they can't help themselves at this point. Yes, exactly, cookie lady. Everyone tell your mothers you love them, even if they're in heaven. I'm good, biotech. Oh, it is done. Oh, I can't wait. This is done. Let me put this up so I can, like, not destroy ah! come on come on man It'll be like this all right Jason yeah I'm gonna need your manliness okay I'm gonna need your manliness and I think I, can I do it? I'll get it. Yep. All right. Oh my God. I need, do we have another one of these or no? It pop. should be around here, but I don't know where they put it. Okay. Uh, well, I just need a cloth then. Do we have a cloth? Uh, can I use this? No, that's plastic. That's plastic. William, can you hand me a cloth real quick? Any kind of, some kind of. We were looking for another. Um, like a dish rag or something. A dish rag or something. Thank you. Or if you we have to take the delicious lasagna out. Another mitt is. That's perfect. Thank you. Perfect. It's perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, you see this. Buddy. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh. Oh. Wow. Like, oh, you need that. Okay, thank you, buddy. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much. Let me do some camera action. Wow. For the That's Look like... at this. Woo! Zach, no, 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 no. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, Look at that. Look wow. at that, folks. Oh. Did I do it? You did it. Did I do it? Did I, did I did did I make like a supreme lasagna? You did it. Is it good? Like is that something that suffice? Is it gross? Like everyone says my cooking's gross. Is that gross? Or does it look like amazing? 
아. 뭐, well, you know, since I'm mom, there's just like a little bit of this like on the side that I could like sneak, I guess, just to like have a little like bite of it. I mean, your cooking is not gross, I promise. Thank you. I agree. get out. Jason, here, yeah. you want to take a little taste test, a little bitey of, um, oh, I want to, I want you to do this on camera for me, honey. Okay. Thank you, my producer. All right, let's try, you want me to try it on camera? Okay. Oh it's my. just a little bit of the ricotta Ooh. and the onion. There we go. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. What? I know. That's a wifey taste. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. I, feel like I did it, guys. You did it. Oh, my God. I think my families are going to be happy tonight because I got some salad and some Italian bread with it, too. It's going to be so yummy, but I got to let this set. Your partner is going to have to make that for you. Yes, force them to, force them to. It's so good. Ah, uh, Cheryl said, Jason, you're a very lucky man. Yeah, that's definitely great. Yeah. Great job, Shani. It's going to be delicious. Yes. Stay tuned. I will put it in my community tab. Bro. You will see Jason Avocado's mukbang of trying out. My delicious lasagna. Yeah. Will fine. will it, you know, do the Jason avocado test? Will it win mm -hmm. that test? We will find out. I, I think it would. I think this is like a tasty looking lasagna in my opinion. I think other people think it's a tasty looking lasagna. Is it overfilled? Absolutely. Is there anything wrong with being overfilled? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Oh. We're going to eat this. It's going to be delicious. And I want you to make it too. So stay tuned tomorrow on Shani's Cooking Show. Oh my God, guys. Tomorrow I am going to be making you a vegetarian chicken and dumplings. It's going to be delicious. And yes, and this is fully vegetarian for you. It is not vegan. If you want to make it vegan, just substitute the cheeses with vegan cheese. And then it'll be fully vegan. Yeah, but this is fully vegetarian. If you are an ovo-lacto-vegetarian like I am. Peace and Maranatha, people. I love you guys. Maybe I'll show up a little get a little later today, but definitely stay tuned. I will put it again in my community tab. Jason Avocados 420 eating his wifey's lasagna. No. Peace, Marinara.